Just four years ago, Greggs was struggling to entice customers after experiencing a sustained period of falling sales. Step forward Roger Whiteside. Taking on the CEO role in 2013, he has turned things around by moving Greggs away from being a bakery and turning it into a food on the go business instead. And this is a plan he's very proud of. I think it's uh, the insight we, we, we jumped on really when we, when we conducted a review of the business back in 2013 that we'd finally reached the point in our customer journey where the majority of customer visits were food on the go. Uh, they, weren't, they weren't customers coming to us in the numbers they were back in the day, as they say, to, to buy bakery products to take home and eat. They were, they were coming to our shops to buy sausage rolls and donuts and sandwiches and the like and drinks to eat um, as they were out and about and away from home. Um, recognizing that that's what the business had mostly become allowed us to focus. And in focusing the business, we've overhauled every aspect of the business. Greg's, which prides itself on its famous sausage rolls, has also transformed its brand by selling healthier products. Despite making 750,000 sausage rolls a day here at the factory at its Newcastle headquarters, Greg's new Balanced Choice line, which comprises of salads and yogurts, is its fastest grower and now represents 13% of total sales. You know, on the face of it, um, people have asked me that question a lot. You know, how, how, how is it that uh, the nation's favourite retailer for sausage rolls and donuts can now sell healthy food? And the truth is that um, the brand is trusted um, and the brand is convenient and the brand is used for food on the go. And more and more people want healthy choices on food from f when they're out having food on the go. Um, so creating a section for that within Greg's giving it a, its own identity, which we've done with, with our sub-brand, Balanced Choice, has quickly resonated. Uh, and then from a, so from a standing start, we've got sales you know, well over 10% now and still growing. I mean, you know, it's, it's one of the fastest growing parts of our business. You think about the launch of Balanced Choice, some people might have laughed a few years ago when we said Greg's is known for sausage rolls is going to launch a healthy range. Um, now, you know, we have 10% of our customers buying that because we've transferred those brand values into everything we do around great quality products at great value prices that appeals to to all customers really. So, um, and all right down to the marketing that we do, if you look at the images in the shop windows, they exactly match the products that you see on the shelves. We're not trying to be a brand that we're not. We always keep things real. Greg's recently opened its first drive-through and is considering one day doing home deliveries as well. But Whiteside insists investing in new shops will remain an integral part of Greg's future strategy. He believes that balancing price and quality are the cornerstones of the Greg's brand. Lots of shops is therefore vital. We've got 1,800. We see ourselves growing to well over 2,000 because we need to be in all of those locations that traditionally you wouldn't have put a bakery shop. So office parks, industrial parks, travel locations, all these places you're now seeing Greg's pop up. Drive-through, we've just opened our first drive-through. All of that is, is essential. So more shops is still part of where we're going because I don't believe people will spend their life at home living life as an avatar. They will get out of the home um, because they want, to, they want to live life outside. Um, and we want to help them do that conveniently. And we've worked hard to, um, to, to demonstrate to people that it doesn't mean that just because our prices are low that our quality is low. We, f we freshly prepare food in the shops each day, uh, but we offer that food at prices that everybody can afford. Um, and that, I think, is key to the, to the way people perceive the brand. People love the brand because the way, the way we talk to people, the way we behave, the way that we're so, our teams are so involved in local communities, all of those things, they're all little bits that all add up.